Uh, I'm 17, and I have been telling Faribault stories for three years now on a uh, documentary television series. I am 17 years old. I've been involved in community theater since I was 10, and I've been sharing Faribault's history on television for the last three years. Based on Faribault's history, it centers around Thomas Scott Buckham, uh, who in 1862 was a young lawyer, relatively new to the town, um, who's making a name for himself out west when this unspeakably brutal war breaks out between Minnesota settlers and the Dakota Indians living on the land. And that's when Tom volunteers to fight. And in his volunteering to fight, he comes face to face with Alexander Faribault, the town's founder. And he's a guy who's torn between these memories of the past that he has and this rapidly changing world. So the U.S. Dakota War reaches Faribault, and that's what brings all of our characters together. You know, Alex sees this vision for a town crumbling around him. That's what brings Bishop Whipple into Alex's life. Uh, Tom meets Alex in the war, in this play. Um, and Tom is struggling to build a name for himself and wants to go to war, you know, to prove himself a man, uh, not only to the people of Faribault, but to his sweetheart out east, Anna Mallory, who has her own set of challenges that are introduced as these characters head off to the war. <laughs> I mean, everything from the uh, ominous internal conflict of Minnesota's first governor, Henry Sibley, to the, the humorous thoughts and anecdotes of Carleton College's youngest president, Donald J. Cowling, you'll be able to come and meet a cast of some of the most important historical figures in Minnesota's history. So this show is unique in that it is based around local history and some of these stories are stories that have never been told in a palatable way for mainstream audiences. Uh, but it's also just a unique theatrical experience. Uh, we're bringing in new technology that hasn't been in the Paradise Center for the Arts before, uh, thanks to a grant that we received from the Southeastern Minnesota Arts Council. Uh, we have money to spend on a new surround sound system from Fetty Electronics um, and a new uh, scrim, which is a piece of staging equipment uh, that lends itself nicely to dramatic lighting and backdrops. Um, so not only is this unique in the story that we're telling, but it's also unique in how we're telling the story. Accompanying the story with excitement and atmosphere is Sam Dwyer's original score. Sam Dwyer is our composer for 1855. He's been doing some great work for us for the last three years, and now he's been writing an original score for this uh, production. Um, he'll be bringing in a live youth orchestra as well. By sharing uh, the lives of Alex and Tom and Anna and Bishop Whipple and bringing these people together uh, not only as important historical figures for Faribault, but as characters that you can empathize with and can have as your proverbial neighbor. Uh, that's what we're celebrating with the show. Um, so we hope come the end of September you'll come with us and celebrate Faribault. The ad you just saw was for a play that performed in September of 2018, but that doesn't mean you don't have another chance to see it. That's right. Coming October 1st of this year, a celebration of Faribault, the 1855 live show will be available online, on YouTube, and through Faribault Community Television. We hope you join us on October 1st and enjoy a celebration of Faribault.